Hi there, so in this vlog I wanted to discuss a little bit about a very interesting phenomenon which I've noticed um, exists in our society, which is the phenomenon of avoidance, which is this collective behavior that we actually participate in. And um, when I noticed this, it was an interesting moment where I find myself at a grocery store waiting in line at the checkout and I was noticing all the magazines that they put on display in front of the checkout and what I was seeing was that on all of the magazines you either had you know the face of a celebrity and like gossip about them or you had the image of a very beautiful um, male or female like a bodybuilder like a fitness type magazine or you had images of sports cars or other lux luxury items and you know every one of those magazines was you know kind of creating this uh, certain portrayal of reality because as you're standing there in a way those magazines are showing you what's going on what's happening in reality they're like a portal to the world a medium the media is a, our medium to um, find out what's happening in the world and if you were to believe these magazines or trust what these magazines were showing all of them were showing this kind of picture perfect um, or this certain kind of picture of reality where things like war don't exist you know where everything is this kind of positive bubble of gossip of celebrities of luxury of happiness of fitness of all of those kind of um, all of those things that we like to do and preoccupy ourselves with um, as a form of entertainment but then you know within myself I was like hmm this does not actually correlate with other images that I sometimes come across on social media or you know on the news where you get those images of um, entire towns in Syria that are being blown up or the image of the child who suffered from a bomb that was being dropped on their village and you have the child covered in blood and dust or you've got uh, the stories about animals being abused or you've got the you know stories and pictures of entire villages of people somewhere in Africa starving to death and you've got you know many many other such stories of countries collapsing under complete economic crises where people are going into you know massive poverty things like that I mean these are the real stories of what's really happening in our reality and as I was standing there at the checkout I was kind of baffled that actually it seems as though on a really deep level in our society we've at some point made this decision that we don't want to look at or have anything to do with or necessarily be faced with that kind of reality with the real reality of what's going on in this world the real stories because they're too horrifying you know and you might you might actually you know notice this for yourself when you go through social media or you read the newspapers and you see those images you, you read those stories about things that have happened to people in this reality you know the consequences the effects of war on people and you feel shocked you know a lot of the times reading those stories watching those images is like a shock and you're like oh my god I can't believe this is happening I can't believe this is part of my reality of this world you know what's going on with the world and that experience of shock is actually a consequence of this phenomenon that is ingrained in our society, the phenomenon of avoidance. This tendency that we have on a societal level, on a global level, to avoid the things that we might find uncomfortable to look at, uncomfortable to think about, things that we might judge or experience um, and think about as bad, as painful. So on some level we have as a society decided that we're going to avoid looking at all of that, we're going to avoid looking at the reality, we're going to try and pretend that 
What our reality consists of is the things that make us happy, is entertainment, the things that allow us to sink into a certain feeling, a certain experience of positivity or happiness or whatever it is. So I'm, I'm not making this vlog just to criticize this point. I'm more here to ask a question and to look into why it is and how it is that this point of avoidance is so ingrained in our very fabric of society, in the entire business of the media, of how we structure society, how we structure our companies, you know, grocery store, it's, it's everything and everyone is participating in it. It's in the very fabric of our society um, that we are living this. And you can't necessarily blame the media, you can't blame anyone, because in a way it's a collective decision, in a way it's all of us on some level inside of ourselves having decided this point, having agreed upon this point of, yes, let's avoid all the things that make us feel bad, and let's only focus on things that allow us to lose ourselves in certain feelings and, and happiness and all of those things so that we don't have to look at the negative stuff, the real things in this world. So how does that happen? Um, I mean, what I've realized um, is that these kind of things that happen on, on a global level, where oftentimes people go and blame the media or companies, you know, and they say, because it's the media's fault, you know, they're the ones who choose which stories they want to present and sell in their magazines and which ones they leave out. You know, so it's their fault that they're filtering all of these things. You know, they're only showing us what they want us to see. However, it's it's not just it's not the media, you know, because the media are people. The me media is people responding to people, which is us. And if you look at it, if you're really honest with yourself in terms of, you know, if you look inside of yourself, you might find that this point of avoidance doesn't only happen in relation to these big events in the world. They're actually, it's actually something that we generally tend to do in our own lives as well. I mean, look at points within your own life where you go into a pattern of avoidance, where, where you tend to, for example, procrastinate. Uh, when you know that you have a certain project to do, but you're kind of feeling stressed out about it, or you're feeling anxious about working with a certain individual, you'll tend to, you know, procrastinate. You'll tend to just postpone it and, and try to avoid actually doing that or, or getting to it because you don't like it because there's something about it that just doesn't make you feel good and then you'll tend to go into certain patterns of uh, entertainment where you try to distract yourself in order to avoid the negative where you you know use positive feelings within for instance entertaining yourself in order to avoid the negative feelings you know this that's something that we can all recognize as something we do in our personal lives on a in a personal capacity and on a personal level which, where you can then draw the line from that personal uh, little world to the global world, the global level, and see that what's going on on a global level is exactly the same. So, obviously, it's clear that the solution to the global problem of avoidance, where, you know, we're not actually dealing with the real issues we should be dealing with on a global level, like, you know, war, corruption, famine, those kind of things where people are actually suffering. Uh, these are real problems that need to be taken on and, and, and corrected. Um, we're not doing that. We're not correcting those problems because, you know, in our personal lives, we are accepting and allowing ourselves to, com to participate within patterns of avoidance, within patterns of not immediately directly dealing with issues or problems that come up but rather, you know, wanting to compensate or wanting to distract ourselves, uh, you know, or, or wanting to suppress the negative by going into a positive, by, by using positive feelings in order to avoid the negative feelings. And this happens on many levels in our mind that we might even, 
might not even be aware of. So in order to change these big global patterns that we can sometimes get angry about, like, or where we sometimes end up blaming media or politicians or companies uh, for why it is that wars don't get ended or why famine doesn't get solved. The solution to solving those problems and issues is actually for us to take responsibility for what we do and participate in in our personal lives so that we as individuals can stand, stand as living examples for those politicians or you know so we can stand as a living example of what we want to see in our world and reality within the realization and the understanding that we're part of this world like you and me as individuals we make up this world we are the deciding factors of this world it's only once we are able to correct certain patterns inside of ourselves that we were that will even be able to see how to correct patterns on a global level that will that will be able to stand up and change things because we've done it within ourselves and for ourselves and in our own lives so that's it for this vlog